Are you ready to host a live webinar? I'm gonna show you how to create a live webinar funnel using ClickFunnels. All right, welcome to Marketing Tools and Tech. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a live webinar funnel using ClickFunnels. So how do you create a live webinar funnel using ClickFunnels? This is gonna be one of the easiest tutorials ever. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna actually go to your ClickFunnels account. Then once you log in, you're going to click Add New Funnel. And I like using the classic funnel builder. So I just click Create Funnel and you're gonna choose Host Webinar. You'll choose live webinar and then you can give this whatever name you want to call it so I'm gonna call this live webinar December 3rd but you can name it whatever you'd like to name it now because I'm going to share this with you later I'm gonna use the group tag shared funnels however I have different tags based on what I'm doing and you can just use whatever tag you want to use for yours. So for example, you might want to tag this under something called live webinars. And I think I might even have um, a live webinar tag here. I do. So for my live webinars, if I'm doing more than one page, right? So every time I do a live webinar, I do another page. I actually have a group tag called live webinar, but I'm going to put this under shared funnels because by the time I'm done with this, I'm going to give you a link to where you can actually just copy and paste exactly what I'm doing. You can click the link and it will load it into your own click funnels account. Okay. All right. So I'm going to click build funnel. And now what I get is I get a fresh baby funnel. They're going to give me the basics, which is the webinar registration page and the webinar confirmation page. When I edit my click funnels, steps, my pages, my funnel steps, I always start doing the same thing. This is how I make sure that I don't miss any steps. So the first thing I do before I look at templates or anything like that is I click on the settings tab and I make sure that all of this looks the way that I want it to look. If you have a custom domain already set up in your ClickFunnels account, well then you can go ahead and, and use the drop down to use your custom domain. If not, the only thing you really are going to want to change is this path. So let's say you don't want it to be called live webinar, December 3rd, you know, Google RP or whatever that says, and you just want it to be called live. For example, that's how you would change it. That means that when you click this link to visit your funnel URL, it's not going to say live webinar, December 3rd, Google RP. It's going to say live. Okay. So obviously it's not built. So this is the page that I see so far because I don't have a template there. So I'm actually going to call this live December 3rd. And I want you to, once you load this into your account, I want you to go ahead and change that to whatever you want it to be. Okay. Then I use this section, the head tracking code. This is where I'll put my Facebook pixel. So that's really all I change on this page. I'm not going to put the pixel in here because I'm sharing this funnel with you. Okay, so I'm just going to save and update that. Now notice when I click to visit the funnel URL, you see how it's changed to where it's saying live December 3rd. Okay. Now the next step is to add your live webinar page. There are several options and templates. So let's just take a look at them. This is one potential template. The example is logo essentially the title, a short video, a subtitle, date, reserve my spot, which opens a click pop. Then the three things you'll learn on the webinar, including images for each of those three things. And then another button that scrolls you back up to the top so you can reserve your spot. So that's an option. If I don't have a video, I might not want to choose this option or I can include a photo here instead. Okay, so that's one option. This is another option that's really simple. It tells you when the webinar starts. So there's a countdown. It's got the title. It has the logo along with buttons to register, get support or order now. This is really interesting. So th they've got a couple of different icons here and then there are some dates to choose from so for example if you have a class that has a couple of different upcoming dates then maybe you want to use this version okay 
you'll have your image plus your host image and then it kind of gives you you know the three things that you're going to discover okay click here to save my spot once again that opens the pop-up this one is kind of long for me and it looks like it also goes twice yeah so that one's kind of long for me so i don't have that much content so maybe i won't use that one so basically all i do when i'm starting to create my page is i really just kind of look through and see you know is this a page that i want to use okay okay so i'm going to go ahead and go with this simple template so i just click select template and it's going to start creating the page for me once i do that let's see what the matching webinar confirmation page looks like so we'll click webinar confirmation so we can start creating that page and usually it's going to be you know one that's in that same spot so for example it says hey you're in watch the two minute video start your free trial um, i think there's another one that's very similar which is this one yep so hey here's your ticket getting ready add it to your calendar all right now i'm ready to start editing these pages i have my two templates so the next thing that I always do is once again, just like when I start the main funnel, I click on the settings tab. When I start editing the page, the first thing I click is the publishing tab. This will allow me to change the name of the funnel step. Instead of calling it webinar registration, I can give you know name of my webinar. So I would type in the name of my webinar there and then I might do a short version here also, okay? The reason that I suggest that you change these two is when you are doing some of the automated emails and things that come from the webinar, it's going to automatically pull from, you know, certain places. So we want to edit it there so that we've got the name of your webinar everywhere. We don't just want to call it webinar registration page. And we also want to edit it here. So there's a little gear here where it says edit the page split test settings and we will name this also whatever the name of your webinar is and then we're gonna same thing here okay you got to change this after you change the path in the publishing tab if you want them to match then you can set your date and time of the webinar I'm not gonna click anything there so that you can change that yourself and then I'm gonna update the page okay so now when I visit the funnel URL, you'll notice that it goes from live dash three to name of webinar with a couple numbers behind it. And that is simply because it's one version. This is one version. If I were to create a variation and I wanted to test a headline, well, it would give me the second version. So don't feel you know odd if it goes to a, you know, kind of a different looking URL at the top there. Okay. Now, you might notice that it says webinar registration here at the top, and you're thinking, well, I thought I changed that. Well, that's the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually go and edit the page and edit this SEO metadata. Okay. So we're going to call, call it whatever we want to call it. So name of webinar, I'll leave that ultimate webinar thing there. Same thing, description of the page. This is the ultimate webinar and then your keywords webinar change the url for your name and then add your image for your webinar right there okay and we want to make sure this is called name of my webinar so you can save that if for some reason you happen to make some changes that you don't want saved and you accidentally already hit the save button all you have to do is go here to the version history. You can preview what that version looks like and then you can click restore in order to restore that version. Okay. So once again, I'm going to visit it and now you can see it says the ultimate webinar instead of saying webinar registration like it did before. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go through this really quickly because editing ClickFunnels pages is very, very simple. You literally just click and make changes. So if you don't want this to say free webinar, if you want it to say free training, for example, you would just click and type free training. If you don't want this background to be pink, well, you would just hover until you see the box that selects the entire thing 
which in this case, it's the green box that selects the entire thing. Click the settings and you would see that the color is here. Change the color to whatever you'd like the color to be. This is where you would add your logo. This is simply an image element, so you can change your logo there. Same thing here. Everything is a simple click, change, update, whatever you want the colors to be. Okay, you would change the date by clicking and typing the date in there. And I want to talk a little bit about the button because a lot of people will miss this. They'll publish their page and they still have the old pop up. So in order to edit the pop up, you've got to click up here to where it says edit settings. So you can look at the pop up and then you can edit the settings. Either button works. Okay. If you don't click edit settings right away, you just click show pop up. It's just going to show you the pop up. But as soon as you click something and click the settings gear, it, well, it's going to allow you to edit it. Okay. So if you wanted to remove this photo of someone pointing and maybe you have a photo of you pointing, you can click and edit that there. You'll ask them for their name, email address. If you don't want to ask them for their name, well, then you can just delete that element. Same thing here. Secure my free spot. Now the text here automatically says act now or act fast webinar spots fill up. If you're hosting a webinar that doesn't have limited seats, just delete this. There's no reason to put that there if it's not actually true. Um, I do want to really quickly share it. I don't know if you can see, but in the background here, there's a, a background image that's got some boxes. You can either remove that or you can change it. Once again, you just hover until you see the box that selects the entire thing. In this case, once again, it's a green box, click settings, and then you'll see the background image is there so you can remove it. Okay. Next we've got the video element. If you don't want the video element, you can remove it. You can also add an image element just by clicking the plus button and then adding the image. It doesn't look like it's as big, but whenever you add your image, whatever size it is, you can put that image there. Okay. So I'm going to delete that. One thing that a lot of people don't realize is that you can have a headline that has two different colors. Okay. And the way that it, changes the colors is based on whether it's bold or not bold. So you notice that this section that says free webinar, this is bold. The rest of this that says what you will learn is not bold. And the way that we do that is just by hitting the settings. Your text color is this color. Your bold, your bold color is this color. So very, very easy. Okay. Next, if you don't want to show images, but you're not sure if maybe you'll want them later, you can just click the hide button then you can come back later and add the images if you'd like. Maybe you hit hide and you're like, oh no, what did I do? You just go to elements, hit manage, scroll down until you find the one that's got the eyeball crossed out, unhide it. Very, very simple. Okay. Once again, it's very simple to change the colors by hovering over the element until the entire box is selected, hit settings, change your colors. Okay. Edit the pop-up, figuring out if you want to add name, email address, all of those things. Once again, this is not to change this pink color. You'll notice that the blue is not quite selecting the entire thing, which is why the background color is not filled in. So you want to make sure that you know exactly what you're editing. In this case, it's the background for the entire pop-up. So you would click edit pop-up settings and now you've got the background for the entire pop-up that you can change there. Okay. So just a couple little things there to remind you of how you can actually make changes to this. I think this one, this template is the simplest one because you don't need a whole lot of copy. Um, you don't need, you know, you, you don't talk about who you are on this one. So if you'd like to add, you know, yourself as the host event host, you can, you know, maybe add another quick section. And let's make that have a background. Let's add a left sidebar row and then let's add an image feature. And now you can say, you know, you're a host or something like that. Okay. You can add your image there. And if maybe you're thinking, well, the picture's too small. You just click over here under advanced and 
say that maybe you want the text and image to be 50 50 well you would do that if you want the text to come first well you would do that so all of this you can't break this you literally cannot break anything just start clicking around and making changes if for some reason there's something that you do that you don't want you can just delete it or hide it and as long as you don't click save you can actually just exit out of it without saving and it won't save the changes that you made so you notice that it didn't it didn't save any of my changes because I specifically did not click save okay same thing um, all right before we leave this page one more thing that you need to do is make sure that whoever signs up their email actually comes into your email autoresponder so you do need to click this integrations option and you need to integrate your autoresponder if you're on the full package you'll see that action edits is in here and then you can add them to whatever list you have if you have ConvertKit, which is another email autoresponder that I recommend, um, you can use ConvertKit and then you just choose to subscribe them to the form. You would have to have created the form inside of ConvertKit first. Then you select the list, add them to the list. Once that's done, you'll notice that there will be a green checkbox right here beside integration. So once again, I'm not going to save that. And that's it. What you'll do is once again, edit this page also always start with the SEO that's what I always start with so change the name you don't want it to have the keywords um, click funnels or have the wrong author just in case someone registers and then they happen to share it change your um, host here as you can see this is the image feature so you can change the image here change your name everything that you want to do all you have to do is click it that's why it's called click funnels you literally just click make changes erase add things and whatnot if there's anything that you don't need, once again, you can either delete it or hide it. I usually like to hide the elements just because if for some reason I want to come back to it and I want it to look the way that it looked when I first got it, I don't want to have to try to recreate it. So I'll just hide it. There's nothing wrong with just hiding the elements if you don't think that you'll need them. You know, if you maybe you don't need this step two, you don't need you only need step one. Well, you can just hide it. OK. And once again, if there's anything that you want to put back, you just scroll until you find where the eyeball is crossed out and then unhide it that way. Okay. Very, very simple. So that's how you create a live webinar funnel using ClickFunnels. I am going to provide you the link to where you can actually grab this template and plug it directly into your very own ClickFunnels account. So make sure you check the link in the description box so that you can grab that. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Marketing Tools and Tech. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you need more help with your webinar, then you definitely wanna join my latest training. I'm hosting a free training sharing with you the process that I use to write a webinar, how I use webinars to book coaching clients, and how I get webinar registrations for relatively cheap so that I can have a higher ROI. I'll also share with you the clients that I've been able to help with this process as well. In order to register, just click the link in the description box, or you can go to you'vegotclients.com slash anti-webinar to get signed up. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.